We have had such great success with our Eustation 2 video, we thought it'd be smart to produce an updated version with our new additions. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Lin, chronic pain specialist at Rehab and Revive. Find out what's next. So where is the Eustachian tube and what's its purpose? In short, it connects the middle ear to the inner back of the throat. It's got a number of functions, but the most important are one, to equalize air pressure inside the inner ear to protect your eardrums. Number two, to drain fluid from the middle ear. And number three, to protect the ear from pathogens or infections. The tube normally remains closed, but opens during swallowing or yawning allowing air to enter and equalize pressure or for that yucky fluid to drain. This can also contribute to certain types of headaches. So if you have recurrent sinus pressure like headaches, this might be helpful for you too. Without further ado, let's show you the new complete method to use station tube draining. So what you wanna do is first you gotta start kind of massaging around this base of the ear. You want to start massaging it and I generally kind of like massaging it backwards so you can massage it here kind of like this is the bottom of that tube uh, and basically what you want to think about is if you pull it it's kind of and you really pull your ear straight out you're gonna feel something just almost stick out almost feels like a vein or an artery I don't know it's not an artery but it might just kind of come out so you just want to massage it a little bit you give that you know 30 strokes or something like that our old faithful is to, this is the sequence. You want to inhale through your nose, you want to swallow, and then you want to exhale out of your mouth. Now, the second step is literally what you want to do is you want to kind of pull out, and then you want to, just like you were kind of fidgeting with bunny antennas like back in the day, you want to be able to kind of find where's the tension or a little stretch. So for me, it's going to be right around here. And so I'm going to do a few of these. So I'm going to, so you can see, I'm kind of pulling it this way. That's where the best angle is. Yours at home might be different. So go ahead and tinker with it. Pull it forward, pull it up, pull it down, pull it to the back. And so what I want to do is uh, inhale, swallow, and then exhale. Sometimes just opening and closing your mouth works, but I like the tried and true. So inhale, swallow, and then exhale. And as you feel it, sometimes something, it starts stretching a little bit more. And so you're gonna inhale again, swallow, exhale. And then I'm just gonna continue to like pull it and really encourage it. Actually, my left ear seems a little clogged today. And exhale through your mouth. So inhale, swallow, exhale through the mouth, right? So that's basically, you're gonna do that, you know, a number of times. Let's try it one more time. And as it changes, it might release like at this angle for me, it might change. So let's go find the next one. So it kind of moved a little bit. It's now going this way. So inhale, swallow, exhale out of mouth. Inhale again, swallow, exhale out of the mouth. Now what I'm gonna do is you can yawn too while doing this, but yeah, so you do anything you can swallow. That always works. Like I said, that's kind of ways to equalize the pressure. Uh, now what you wanna do after this, and if this isn't have totally helped, you actually have a spot back here. A lot of people will feel that pressure. It's almost sensitive to touch if it's clogged. I call this like a posterior sinus valve. It's almost like a pressure release. Just getting right here, kind of that base where it's slightly sensitive, but almost feels good. You're just gonna start massaging it backwards. It's a sore. If it's needs, if it has issues, you're gonna kind of start doing that. And you can do the same thing, the swallow, you're gonna inhale, swallow, exhale. So I'll just do both sides. My right side doesn't seem that bad. My left side definitely seems sore. So I'm just gonna do both and I'm just stroking it like backwards like this. So inhale, swallow, exhale. Inhale through your nose, swallow. And it's starting to even get better. And my hearing's actually starting to improve too. And like I said, you're doing this, you know, I wouldn't say do it more than two minutes at a time. Um, and if anything, you can go right back to the ear pulling. Let's do a couple more uh, of this. And then, yep. And something actually kind of just little little click uh, for me in the back. Um, so something probably started opening. So inhale. So, 
<laughs> swallow. And, yep, it's, it's starting to drain actually down my throat. So that's uh, that's kind of you might cough. <laughs> so it's working. Um, uh, so one way to think about it is these like they're tubes basically like straws and uh, and and in the essence they're pinched at both ends. So you're trying to like lightly encourage if, if, if a straw like you bit down on a straw and it was kind of squished like this, you need to try to get it to open up. And that's the goal. Let us know your thoughts on our video. Leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, wheel smarter.